What's going on YouTube? Happy Friday to all of you and welcome back to another Fantasy Pug video. It's Chris aka FP Charlton again and today we're going to be covering the best defenseman to target in this year's Fantasy Hockey trade deadline. Before we get started as always if you guys enjoy the video be sure to leave a like and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button. We have another video coming out on Sunday which is going to target the best trade deadline targets for forwards. If you're looking to bolster your defense and you're looking for something that is a sure thing and consistent, Morgan Riley has been nothing but that this season. Even though the Leafs have been pretty streaky when it comes to their offense, Riley has had a consistent shot rate and point production throughout the entire season. Averaging around two and a half shots per game, it's a nice jump from last year especially. Riley currently ranks ninth among defensemen in shots and is tied for fifth for primary assists. 15 power play points, and the Leafs power play has hovered around a ludicrous 30% this year, but has recently come to a halt going over their last 14. Look for the Leafs to get back on track at the main advantage, and remember it only takes a quick pass to Austin Matthews for one-timer for Riley to start racking up those power play points. As well as a recent injury to Jake Muzzin, Riley will almost guarantee see an increase in minutes over the next couple months and probably the remainder of the season. The Leafs fantasy playoff schedule from week 23 to 25 has some good volume, a total of 11 games, including some marquee matchups against Tampa and Florida in a back-to-back -back where Riley will see a lot of minutes for sure, as well as some easier ones down the stretch in week 25 You get Buffalo, Ottawa, and the Islanders as well. If you're already well out of a playoff spot or in some kind of keeper league and are looking towards the future, or you're just thin on the defense spot in general, Mort Sider should be your number one trade target in this year's fantasy hockey trade deadline. It is incredibly uncommon for a 20-year-old rookie defenseman to come to the NHL and have the impact that Sider's had, especially from a fantasy hockey perspective. Sider is currently tied for 8th among NHL defensemen in points, 40 in 54 games, but he does everything at a high rate as well with 114 shots, 107 blocks, and 17 power play points. He hits every category. I wouldn't be worried about the fact that he's on Detroit. He's averaging just below 22 minutes a night, and he does everything you want out of a defenseman. He shoots, he hits power play one time, he blocks, and he's clearly talented when it comes to managing the puck. If you were unsure if his production and his peripherals would continue early on, especially like I was, fear no more. This guy is the real deal. He has Victor Hedman written all over him. Detroit's fantasy playoff schedule looks a little bit daunting, I know, but you have to remember that Sider's been playing at the current level that he is the entire season against top opponents, so I wouldn't be worried. I'm happy with the volume here, and there's some tough matchups, yes, but Sider should see a lot of ice time still. We've talked a lot about Jacob Chikrin this season, and with the NHL trade deadline looming in a couple weeks, as well as the fantasy trade deadline coming up this Wednesday, it's going to be difficult to acquire him just because fantasy owners are going to want to hold on to him and see where he actually ends up. And going forward, don't worry, I've got another great buy low defenseman right now that I honestly am more excited about going forward than Jacob Chikrin. Miro Heiskanen is often compared to guys like Kale McCarr and Quinn Hughes due to his incredibly high skill level at such a young age, but we haven't quite seen the elite level of production we were expecting out of the 22-year-old just yet. He's never had more than 35 points in a season, he hasn't been really racking up power play minutes due to him splitting time with Klingberg, and his average time on ice has actually dropped instead of increased. This is why Miro Heiskanen is your best by low defenseman right now and my favorite target on this list. Just to jog everybody's memory in 2019-2020, that one playoff run, he had 26 points in 27 games. Most people would look at that as just a one-off, but that was just prior to COVID happening and we all know what happened after COVID. So things got a little bit messy around the league, but I truly believe that Heiskanen is poised and ready to absolutely explode here. We know that Klingberg is on his way out the door, and honestly, hopefully the deal gets done at trade deadline. That way, Heiskanen has an entire half of the season to go absolutely bananas as the number one guy. This means this is exactly what all fantasy owners have been waiting for. We get to see Miro Heiskanen as the number one guy in Dallas, uncontested for that number one power play spot. And I know that this season has been kind of meh for him with his shots per game being exactly what it was last year, which is again 2.2. That's not great. His blocks have increased, but again, his production isn't where we would expect it to be. I talked about the lack in power play minutes as well as Dallas tries to really spike Klingberg's value, who's not having a great season either, putting him on the first power play unit instead of Heiskanen. 
Hopefully, come trade deadline, Dallas adds a couple more pieces to their team, moves Klingberg out, and Heiskanen steps into that number one role on the power play and as a defenseman in general. I'm expecting him to see an increase in average time on ice, definitely going to get an increase in power play time, as well as his point production should absolutely increase as well. There's not a lot of risk involved here as well. It doesn't look like Dallas is anywhere close to signing Klingberg, so that means he should be on his way out at trade deadline. And Heiskanen has so much upside to him, it's ridiculous. He's at the very least going to see more power play time and more time on ice per game. So that usually leads to more production, and I think he's going to absolutely skyrocket. So definitely pick him up before it's too late. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, as well as hit that subscribe button. Again, we have that Sunday video coming out, which is going to include the best trade targets for forwards before the trade deadline on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that as well. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend.